What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money and welcome to the next test server here on War Robots with the Exorcist, okay? So the next bot in line that has the stealth ability with the jump, same as the Inquisitor has, but this one here actually has four medium weapon slots on top of all that. So let's jump right into the battle and see how that goes. So here we are on Dreadnought. When I first saw the introduction of this bot, like the information about it, I sent a bug report to Big Sonic highlighting the fact that it has four medium weapon slots and the stealth jump, right? And because uh, I couldn't believe my eyes like <laughs> that didn't sound right But anyways, let's go and see how it performs guys uh, Obviously you can run a lot of configurations with it You can run an RDB which is very good like four Tulumbas You can go with brawling Tyron Orkans You can go Hydras four times And uh, you know since you can stealth yourself You can even counter other Hydras by stealthing at the right moment, right? Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that goes with this thing and uh, you have very little health. That's the drawback of this machine. You have very, very little health. Only 86,000 at level 8. Um, that's like half as much than other bots have of the same... Um uh, of the same. See here, I knew the Hydras are coming in. Uh, his aphids ca came in, and I just stealthed at the right moment. And his uh, oh 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 oh! I need to get in cover. And his aphids didn't hit me anymore. And um, yeah, that's pretty good. So ooh, let's fire around the corner here. Okay, here we go. There goes another one. Yeah, and they have also reworked some of the maps, right? So uh, before you had certain, you had only Shenzhen in the last test server with the King of the Hill test uh, game mode. Now this time we actually have a whole bunch of weapons um, working with this test uh, with this game mode, right? Oh, he's actually following me in here. That's interesting. Okay, he wanted to keep firing no matter what. Uh, I thought he was gonna walk away from this. So so far I've seen uh, Dead City, I've seen Dreadnought, and I've seen. Um, I think two or three other maps too I have seen with the uh, with a new game mode. Um, probably not all of them. There's probably still a bunch more that I have not seen yet. But uh, uh oh, I need to get in cover really fast. Ooh, oh, his organs were coming in, and <laughs> I had to get back in cover because my stealth ability was running out. But yeah, so you can see you can even stay alive for a very long time, despite the low HP pool you have. You can. St Oh no! Just when I was saying you can stay alive, stay alive forever, this guy hit me like a half a centimeter around the corner. I was already going back around the corner and he still got, got the hit in there. Man, dang it. But you know, as I was saying, you can stay alive for a very long time with this thing if you use it very carefully and very, you know, wisely. Because the stealth ability and the jump is basically it allows you to get a drop on anyone um, and there is very little they can do about it. See, now I don't use my stealth ability because no one is targeting me. I use it always as a, as a measure of um, last resort or how do you say it, as, as an emergency safe uh, thing, right? Because I don't jump when I don't have to, I only do it when I want to preserve my bot and stay alive. That's the only place where I do this. So, oh, I'm not sure if this guy was firing at me, but somehow he missed me. Thank God, because <laughs> I, once again, didn't have the stealth ability active. But this trebuchet dude over there is really, really going to, uh, really being annoying here. Let's get him out of the way. There he goes. And this guy, oh, uh, okay, see, he's going to jump immediately. And there he spawns with the, um... I know he's got a lock on of 4 seconds, 5 seconds, he's got a Scorch on it. I also ran Scorch, it's very good because you have 600 meters range, right? Uh, and you can do a lot of damage when you get close too. Here I can hit him, I can hit him because he's so close to the wall, see that? When you are so close to the wall, I can, I can hit you even if you are in stealth ability, because basically the rockets fly against the wall and trigger splash. Um, but it's, it's a lot of tricks you can get, you know, down right when you use this machine here, especially when combined with Orkins or something. I want to be very, I need to be careful now because I don't want to get hit here too much. So far I've only shown you the Orkin version, of course, because, you know, it's the, it, it's, let's, let's face it, it's the most powerful, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to be brave. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna be dead. That's what I am. I'm gonna be dead in a second because this guy really got me pinned now. Hold on, maybe he's gonna reload in a second. Hold on. He might reload. I might still have a chance. When are you finally going to reload, dude? Come on. Dude! What the heck? Is he never gonna reload, huh? Come on, die. Did I just destroy half the Zeus fury over there and then at the same time a full regime still because of the fact that I run three Orkans here at the same time. Did I really just do that? And now destroy this guy half there. Oh my goodness. 
four Orkins, ladies and gentlemen. That is a selling point. That's definitely a selling point because, let's face it, where do you have so much firepower on which bot? There is no bot where you can have this, right? So I don't give you the kill. Ha! <laughs> I exited out of the out of the bot before he got me because I couldn't have killed any done any more further damage. But si I still was able to get the kill and then drop myself out. Um, yeah. So let's run the Tarans here. As you say, as you see, we have the King of the Hill game mode, which makes for some amazing brawling battles. Because no battle really ends uh, unless you have all teammates of the enemy team or your own team uh, killed. Um, Oh, hello. Come on, die. Yep. And there's another one. See, four Tyrants opening fire. That's just absolutely brutal. And I've realized that firing them in sequence will help with this bug. Like here, now I'm firing them in sequence. Only for a second there. Um, because we still have the bug that the Tyrants or also some other plasma weapons, they don't really do uh, what they're supposed to do. Um, they are not all hitting the enemy. And uh, that's, that's a bit of a problem, of course. Um, oh god, look at this Ancelot, man. Oh, come on, die. No, I have to reload. Yeah, I got him still. <laughs> and if you fire them in sequence, I figured out that you can make them work better. Like this. Here, I'm firing all four, uh, one after another here. And this way, I think all of my Tarans actually hit the enemy. And none of them, like, go through the enemy in a very weird way. And, uh, see, I'm just gonna stay back here a little bit and, uh, do the old... Uh, Taran in the face trick this time. Oh, they're targeting me this time, so I'm gonna jump and uh, yeah, save myself. Oh, good, look at this damage. <laughs> oh, there's a trebuchet uh, ember sitting around the corner doing absolutely nothing. That is weird. And this guy seems to be AFK now. Oh, come, come on, die already. Yeah. Okay, so eight seconds till uh, stealth ability. Usually, if you are out in the open like I am right now, usually you don't survive uh, the time it takes for your stealth ability to come back, right? But uh, in this case, we actually managed to do so because he actually spawned so late. Wow. The amount of firepower that this thing has is just absolutely mind-blowing. Four medium weapons! That's, you know, guys, we're doing a life attack, by the way. That's why I'm not looking so much into the camera. I actually play at the same time. Uh, but, you know, usually you have one bot, like a Rogatka, or you have a um, you have a, a Lancelot firing at you with, with two Tarans, right? And those bots are already powerful. Now you have just another... Two Tyrants on top of that, on one bot, that can still at the same time get himself, you know, invincible for a couple of seconds. Make you lose your target and all these funny things. And uh, I must say that I'm really surprised. <laughs> Did I get a hit in there? <laughs> I was trying to sneak a hit in. I think I am hitting him right now. I believe so. Um, yeah. Personally, if you ask my opinion, guys, I would certainly say this thing is way too powerful. Yes, we have low HPs, yeah, So, but you can counter, you, you basically have the stealth ability that makes up for the low HP because you can just continuously make yourself invincible. You stay behind cover, you come out and you kill two bots or one and you go back in. With this much speed, as a Rogatka also has, you kind of, you know, you can do this so easily and, you know, don't even lose much health. And uh, we've just done 1,629,000 damage with level 8 equipment on the test server here, uh, where everyone has level 8 equipment. 16 kills, and we've... How many bots have we used? Two? Two bots? That's, that's just, you know, I think I still had three of them left, or two. Not sure how many exactly I needed, but uh, I certainly had enough bots left, right? So uh, this is just, this shows you that uh, the low HP pool is not really uh, a problem for this bot to perform. It's, uh, I guess you could give this bot 20,000 HP and it would still kill you because it has stealth ability and four weapon slots, right? So uh, let's keep this in mind while we go for the next run. Could you please not block me to death? Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> and just jump over here on Dead City now. Also here, once again, we have the King of the Hill game mode. In case you have not left, you know, watched the last test server video I made, King of the Hill game mode is one where basically you, you both teams fight for one beacon and it has only a limited amount of points in it and you the most you stand closer and you stand with more people and you get the points and once the the beacon points are depleted basically there's no uh, another beacon will open up right and um, see I just one hit killed this guy it's like playing Unreal Tournament with the Insta Gip modification on 
where basically you, you start hitting one hitting people all the time. And uh, that's that's how it works. You are the faster aimer, you are the faster do you have the better position at the, at the time. Uh, you will get to kill the guy, guy enemy there. <laughs> and he, he won't be doing much against you. Uh, uh oh, oh no. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Ugh. Ugh. We had uh, Hydras firing into us. By the way, this might be the last test server round that I'm able to play here because it is actually two, three minutes before three hours for the first test server se uh, session. So, in other words, I guess we might not even see the statistics of our battle at the end here. So, there goes him. And here goes another one. See, this guy back there was gonna fire his orc, uh, his hydras at me, uh, but that didn't work very well because I activated my stealth ability. All, all the, um, yeah, all the the uh, things were going away. Oh no, please come on, hide myself. Yeah. See, I'm regenerating my orcans. Or oh no, hello. I'm reloading my orcans at the same time. Not, 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 not anymore. No longer. I mean. Oh my goodness. See how they target? Oh no. Oh, I had a bug. My orcans were stuck somehow. I had the old, uh, the old Orkins stuck uh, mode. Anyways, regarding the King of the Hill game mode, the beacon switches off to another one, okay? After it has been depleted, and this way, you can kind of do a lot of stuff uh, with it. Okay, let's fire this guy, because he's the only one who's not invincible. See, they're all trying to hunt me down, you see that, right? All these guys are all trying to hunt me down. And uh, it seems like they might be successful now. No? Haha! <laughs> Not with me! Oh, wait a minute, this is the beacon here. See, here's the beacon. I stand close to it, so I can actually get the beacon po- No! I got stuck at the wall. I was trying to, you know, walk away and uh, walk back and trigger some of his firepower, and then I got hit- uh, stuck at the wall and I couldn't get back anymore. Dang it. But yeah, so this is how it works, right? You have this, uh, the, the shifting beacon. Sometimes it's this there, sometimes it's there, and basically, um... You, uh, you have to stand close and, do, you know, get the points as quick as you can. Because the beacon only gives you the, gives you the highest amount of points. Can I hit him here? No. Um, the more, the earlier the beacon spawn, the more beacon points you also get. And that's an interesting twist, because you basically get faster bots have a, a better chance to perform, uh, you know, get, get, the, get the beacon points. It's a really good thing. I want to get that little uh, Garrett over there. Because he's, he's alive for a long time now. Ah, oh, Hydras are coming in. I need to jump. Okay, got him. And this guy, of course, jumped with me. He knows that his stealth ability is active for a longer time than mine. So he basically walks <laughs> into me. Alright, so far so good. The Hydras are going to open fire at me in a second again. So intuition tells me that I have to hide behind this wall. And the Hydras are firing, but in this case, they weren't firing at me, which is obviously a good thing for us. Um, oh boy. Tarans, yeah, they are... Whoa, he's, he just targeted me in mid-air. You saw that, right? In mid-air, I still got hit, hits of his, his freaking Tarans there. What the heck? Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Walk around the corner. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, no, not the... No! Ow, 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 ow! No! Oh my god, he's still hitting me! Dude! Freaking Hydras! I don't want to get killed so quick. And I he knows he's gonna jump in a second, I know that. I know he will. Oh boy. Are you still hitting me with your Hydras? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I don't know how, how he hit me there with his Hydras. <laughs> Man, I, I thought he was on the exact other, uh, opposite side of this thing. Wow, I have no idea how he hit me there. The Scourge guy killed me, okay, that, that's okay because he jumped around the corner, but the Hydras? How did they hit me? What the heck? Come on. Oh my god, it's so hard to get in range. Oh, he's just walking away really fast. Okay, am I gonna get him there? Can I get him? Uh, a little bit. Only a little bit. The Hydra dude is still there. I hate this Hydra guy. Ah, he's so annoying. Damn it. I think he, he, he probably did like one bot of damage to me already, just from behind cover. But he should be spawning again in a second, I, I think. And I... Yep. Hi there. And you, you know that you can fire on a Lancelot on top of him, right? Um... Oh, I need to get behind the corner really quick. Before the Lancelot opens fire. Yep, see? 
58 kph uh, mobility that's just you know the inquisitor at least you can kill the inquisitor relatively quickly after he lands because he although he's not the slowest bot he's still um you can still catch him but this guy here wa runs around the corner incredibly fast after he is just destroyed like uh, and jumped with the stealth ability that's he did a great job there if you jump with the stealth ability uh, you should always try to end up on a high position because then no one can hit you just by accident or aiming at, at your level of height right because uh, if you're that different level of height this is not possible <laughs> we were shooting at each other here trying to get this guy and he was still in the stealth ability when he died that's funny um, but yeah, oh, hey, here's a guy again. How many times does he can, how many bosses he still have left? You know what, I, this is the guy with the Hydras. This is the Hydra dude. And the Hydra dude is, of course, he's still got too many bots left. Because he has just been using Hydras before. <laughs> Look at this. Everyone is running the same bot here. And, um, yeah, just so you know, there has been news about another bot too. Uh, I don't quite... Strider is the bot, which is supposed to be like a dash bot with five dash charges. They have taken this one out of the test server in the last moment, so I was unable to test this one yet. If it ever comes, I'll make a, I'll make a separate video about it. And, uh, you know, be, be ready for more videos about here. The, um... Uh, Exorcist because it's it's of course a fun machine to play, but let's a few words about balancing here I need to say guys that uh, if this thing comes to the life server with four weapon slots in medium category This is too much. It's simply too much considering he also has a stealth jump ability uh, I would say he actually has and this is my honest opinion. I'm just gonna give it here I honestly say that I think two medium weapons are too much here uh, Maybe switch removing two and giving one light weapon on top of it Then it feels more in line with the other bots having low HP and the stealth jump but having two medium weapons and one light one that feels a little more like i don't know leave your like uh, leave your comments on this topic please also in the video description i really like to hear what you think um and other than that as you see there's a lot of more maps now with the king of the hill game mode in the game so uh this game mode is probably becoming more and more ready for the live server and um we're gonna see this in time and more videos about the exorcists are coming up on my channel relatively soon. oh and one more thing the vortex weapon so the aphids for medium category have been tested with more damage which is much better and the redeemer has been tested with lower damage which is also better just so you're informed about the news and what's tested on the test server so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more thanks for bearing with me you guys are awesome as always money gaming signing off bye bye